Tens of thousands of demonstrators took part in rallies across the United States on Saturday to demand that lawmakers pass legislation aimed at curbing gun violence following last month's massacre at an elementary school in Uvalde, Texas. In the nation's capital, organizers with March for Our Lives estimated that 40,000 people assembled at the National Mall. March for Our Lives, the gun safety group founded by student survivors of the 2018 massacre at a Parkland, Florida high school, said it had planned hundreds of rallies nationwide for Saturday, including in New York City, where ninth grader Anya Biggs said she believed the country was close to becoming totally numb to the violence. I think we're reaching a national tipping point, especially, well, I'm in ninth grade, but as I've seen over the past few years, the amount of gun violence that has happened, I think we're reaching a tipping point where we're about to hit desensitization to gun violence. And I think that we're not there yet. I think that if this trend continues and if we don't choose to take this opportunity to fight back, it's going to continue again. The cycle is going to continue and eventually people aren't going to be phased by it anymore. The shootings in Uvalde and Buffalo, New York, have added new urgency to the country's ongoing debate over gun violence, though the prospects for federal legislation remain uncertain, given staunch Republican opposition to any limits on firearms. In recent weeks, a bipartisan group of Senate negotiators vowed to hammer out a deal, though they have yet to reach an agreement. Their effort is focused on relatively modest changes, such as incentivizing states to pass red flag laws that allow authorities to keep guns from individuals who have been deemed dangerous.